hello family and we're out here doing another video that has come across our social media feed and we want to speak on it we want to talk about it and you know i got to get y'all's opinion on it as well okay and i'm like hello here we go again we're gonna be talking about marital medicines mariah she trying to figure out where her contract at y'all <laughs> I'm like, damn, Mariah, you already executive producer, girl. <laughs> but I know sometimes you still want to be on the show. I get it, got it good. Girl, I'm looking for your uh, your contract, too, because like I said, I do like the OGs that were once on the show that they promoted, that they brought out. And I do think we ought to pay homage to them, especially if they giving giving us drama to fixate on okay so yeah i would miss mariah off of the show so i want her on now even though she is executive producer or uh, one of the executive producers of the show so we get this story out loud and in color in charge and full effect from the jasmine brand please go check her out the jasperbrand.com she has a lot of entertainment celebrity celebrity gossip news that she brings out on her platform she's one of them heavy hitters out there i don't know if she's in atlanta or not but uh salutes up to her because i get some of my commentary that i want to talk about from her website as well so go on over there but anyway we got Shar patterson she must be a journalist uh or correspondent over there a writer for the jasmine brand one of the writers and she's given us a story she titles her article married to medicine star mariah h is still waiting on her contract it's not in the mail <laughs> that's a job why, why don't y'all just get emails but i guess they send y'all y'all contracts so y'all can have y'all legal team look over it and see if everything's plush and in order and not trying to take advantage of you all i don't know hell or they might just say put sign on a dotted line if you still want to stay with our retro tv programming okay and send it back to us all right but i don't know it seems like bravo with the corona thing they should have just sent it via email <laughs> but i guess they like okay whatever but anyway we going into the article it says mariah has questions as she hasn't received her contract for bravo's married to medicine's eighth season mariah who notably developed the concept for the series took fans with her as she checked her mail in an instagram video seemingly looking for her contract okay Maybe Mariah, my sidebar, is just trying to stir up shit and drama for us to pay attention to the show. I mean, the show will go on, but it just will be lackluster, in my opinion, without her. Okay? But anyway, we'll go back to the article. It said, she said, I had heard that marital medicine contracts came out, but mine's is not in the mail. So, can y'all check y'all mailboxes to see if my contract came to you all's house? <laughs> <laughs> Mariah crazy as hell but anyway going back to the article says many of her fans commented that they weren't happy with the possibility of her not returning to the show and she uh posted it on uh her instagram page or you know they were on her instagram page and they wrote in her comment section one of them said they still disrespecting the creator another one said mariah if you don't have a contract i will not be entertained by married to medicine anymore i feel the same way then we have another one that said i'll not i will not be watching if they play like that they better send that contract another one said wait isn't she one of the producers on the show as well? They better quit playing. Call your managers. Okay. Another one said, if you're not there, I won't be watching. And the last one said, there is no marriage to medicine without you. I agree, honey. Because she got me on that. She will not get off her chariot to throw tomatoes in the street with the peasants. God, I, I thought I would fall out. I thought I would fall out because that was just too much of a damn good read. Okay, for anybody. And I be saying it in my personal life too. <laughs> but anyway, going back to the article, it says Mariah helped kick off the series in 2013. She went on a hiatus during the third season and came back to the for the fourth season. What do you think about Mariah not receiving her contract? contract tell us in the comments below okay and i'm asking my fam what say you 
fam on oh, mariah not returning back to the house um well the merit the medicine franchise i mean sometimes i guess you could make cameo appearances because she's still getting paid either way am i right well listen listen to a little clip that uh jasmine uh brands correspondent over there sharp patterson put in her article let's see if we can get it to play without buffering <laughs> she said what's the t and i honey i said the tb you ain't got no contract you won't be returning so go raise some hell like nene go on to hire attorney honey go on and check out lisa bloom i think that was her name <laughs> that nene had hired but we have yet to see what came of that what floors from that so i think that was just a ploy i think what uh, mariah is doing is a ploy as well uh stirring up new drama uh and maybe a storyline just to get us to partake in to see whether or not she will return and start taping okay so that's all i had to uh um, i guess deliver to you all tonight and i think i'll be going to bed after this unless something else throws on my uh social media feed that i want to talk about but it'll be in tomorrow's um what do you call it video selections that i will put out so be safe uh the corona is still out there it's still hitting my state hard which is atlanta georgia um so be safe you know i don't want anything happening to my family affairs my family members on youtube no i don't but um yeah take care of yourselves be as astute as you can be when you're out there messing around on the streets go to them grocery stores go make you a list prior to going and go to that certain section don't lalagag get what you got to get get out of them stores and get back home okay do social distancing take it serious guys because like i said oh i don't know if i told you or not i had a classmate that i went to school with and i found out about a week and a half ago she died from the corona now so that's 52 you know she was born in my year that i was born and we weren't like real best buddies but we knew of each other and we hung around each other because she was in the band and i was in the band but i was a majorette and you know we crossed paths and she was a nice young lady uh and she had uh went into business after we graduated from high school with her father who owns a mortuary company here in atlanta um so yeah i was very sad to hear that um and they'll be laying her body to rest this saturday and i think friday i'll go and view the body and i'm kind of scared about doing that you know what i'm saying i'm like Woo, child it's another whole way of living you got the glove up you got the face up you know put your mask on and stuff you got to stay prayed up okay and it's just a theory of me going out there and possibly bringing something back to my mom who you know she's 80 years old her immune system is not that great but it's better than hell it might be better than mine <laughs> okay because she showed me getting around him much better than my bones okay but uh yeah y'all take it serious and only do what you got to do out in the streets and come back home disinfect your cells disinfect your areas of uh where you lounge around in that you touch a lot make sure you clean your hands for you but hell when I, I say when you come home take all your clothes off that you were out there working in or whatnot um go to the face sink Take your little bird bath or whatever, especially wash your face. And then, you know, touch your face. Because uh, they say the contact is like when you come, when you put your hands to your face and you touch your eyes, your nose, and whatnot. And that's where the contact comes from, uh, most prevalently, uh, of getting the virus. But, you know, like I said, I'm not really sure. I think it's airborne. I'm sticking with that probably to the day I die. But uh, it may have some found uh reasoning of how i'm thinking and then it may not be founded at all but i'm just going by what i feel but um i'll talk to y'all next video and y'all be blessed as usual don't forget to like share and uh subscribe to the channel uh if you haven't done so already and i will see you next video blessings